To address these levels of emissions and waste, we must go beyond energy efficiency and address embodied carbon as well. The Circular Building Toolkit will enable our clients to use those principles in practice across our assets. The Arup EMF partnership combines Arup's 75 years of deep expertise in the built environment with the Ellen MacArthur Foundation's 10 years of leading global conversations about the transition to a circular economy. Together, by redesigning systems in the built environment, we aim to unlock new forms of economic value, while at the same time eliminating waste and pollution, circulating materials and assets, and regenerating natural systems. Our partnership operates through a collaboration between colleagues with diverse professional backgrounds. This unique combination of, com of skills, knowledge and passion is brought together to create the resources the industry needs to drive change. And with the launch of the toolkit, we are moving from ambition to action, from discussing circular economy principles to applying them directly on our projects. Translating the principles of the circular economy into practice enables us, our clients and partners to achieve a wide range of possible outcomes. Some of our clients use it to de-risk their asset strategy by decarbonizing their portfolio. Other clients use it to increase their return on investment by rethinking their operations, by reducing disposal cost or cost for carbon tax and other clients really embrace that as a framework for innovation and to unlock new growth opportunities. For instance, by rethinking their asset operation strategy or by embracing new circular business models for the built environment. The principles of the circular economy enable far more than just decarbonization. They help us to keep finite resources and healthy materials in endless loops. They help us to eliminate waste and to regenerate natural systems. They also help us to keep assets flexible and adaptable for any future use. So it's in our hands now to systematically transform all stages of the built environment value chain. As its name states it, the Circle Buildings Toolkit is built up by several components. The main element being a design framework, which translates high-level circular economy principles into a series of tangible strategies, actions and KPIs relevant to the building sector. These KPIs have been selected in alignment with international frameworks and guidelines, such as the EU Levels Framework, with a clear intention to create one common language which allows for reporting and benchmarking across the building sector. The platform hosting the toolkit provides users with a friendly interface, which seamlessly links the components within the toolkit and allows users to filter actions by design discipline and project stage. Other components of the toolkit include a case study library, tools directory, and workshop materials. All of these intended to help users embed principal economy principles in their design process and ultimately in their projects. For our most recent project, which is circular building design for the client named F2K, the toolkit provided a very valuable guideline for the whole multidisciplinary team consisting of architects and engineers. We have used this tool um, that helped us to structure and prioritize different building components so we could come up with a building design that is adaptive, that is flexible, reversible and also um, easy to scale up and down as needed by the users of the building. And the tool also helped us um, to facilitate the discussions with the client so we all together could come to informed decisions. <music>